Hello and welcome to Atrocities Play Star Trek Online, or as I like to say, beat my head against the keyboard. Anyways, I have done it. I have completely bankrupted my Dilithium stores across all my characters and uh, purchased some keys and some of the uh, the packs that come with the uh, free upgrades. Uh, I was only able to get three of them, so three times, eh, I don't know, I, it's it's the same price for keys if you would have bought them in a 10 bundle, but the upgrade saves you a bunch of dilithium if you choose to use the upgrades. I've already upgraded my weapon here to ultra high rare ultimate, whatever you want to call it, this. I went ahead and upgraded it to that, because why not? Ooh, I'm injured. When did that happen? Holy crap. Uh, yeah, you'll all. That's probably why I was dying so easily in that last match. Ah, I'll have to go visit the doctor. Anyways, um, I figured, what the hell, go ahead and open up a bunch of uh, uh, Kelvin Timeline uh, lockboxes. Now, in the last two videos, I opened, uh, I think it was 20 uh, Kelvin lockboxes and then 20 uh, temp er, Infinity lockboxes. I have since gotten rid of all my Infinity lockboxes, sold them on the exchange, uh, they're they're high demand item, so I've made a lot of bank on that or EC on that, and I'm saving my EC right now. I got a little over 100 million EC. I'm trying to re resupply that, get back up to around 500 million. It's going to take a while. I mean, blew through a lot of it on my last key purchase, which I didn't get anything out of. So, what we're going to go for? We're going to go for the Kelvin Timeline Enterprise, the JJ Prize. Uh, it's 60 lock boxes. And chances are. On average, you get one per 60, or one per 200 if you if you go by my luck. My luck's so bad that uh, if I won the lottery, the state would declare bankruptcy the next day. Seriously. Alrighty. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open them, and if we get it, we get it. If we don't, we don't. If you have any expense, I'll end up with a bunch of low buy, and I'll just wait till there's a low buy sale, and then I will on the low buy sale, purchase the Dreadnought. There's ain't no way I'm gonna pay 900 bucks for that Dreadnought. No! 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 Open the first 20 here. Now if I do pop the uh, the cruiser, what we'll do after the first 20 here is we'll switch it to a Klingon character and see if he gets any, if he gets lucky. So what do we got here? It doesn't look like we got it. Uh, we got Proton Charge Launcher Mining Drills. Eh. Starship Trade Standoff. Absolutely useless shit. All of this is really useless stuff through here. The weapons are okay. Timeline weapons are okay. The Kelvin Timeline Duty Officer doesn't blow, blow my skirt up. Timeline my manuals are absolute garbage. This trait... Eh, it's, it's alright. Neutral Zone Trait... And, yeah, nothing, nothing real good here. All right, let's go ahead and go through the next set. Keep our fingers crossed. Come on. Ooh, got the lithium. That's a good one. Give me a ship. Give me a ship. Give me a ship. The affinity lock boxes are nice because you basically gain access to all the previous lock boxes and their traits or their winnings so if you get a infinity lock box that gives you a ship access it's not gonna be bad alright well looks like we bust again here useless 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 Ooh, research and development packs those are pretty good useless and the dilithium the VIP and the resource packs are so far and of course the low buy are the only thing worth a damn um, the weapons are okay the rest of the stuff here is all just gonna be sold um, I don't know I've heard some good things and bad things about the mining drill and the uh, Klingon or Romulan offshoot of it so yeah We'll see. But yeah, these traits, 
These are absolute garbage. Kelvin timeline module, so that's straight to the bin box. That's that's for certain. That that that's that's garbage. Uh, modules, manuals, those are garbage. Let's see here, standoff highly. Yeah, I'm gonna bin those as well. Put those on the exchange. That's definitely gonna go on the exchange. Yeah, I don't need brawler. Brawler is a, a wasted attribute. And these right here, 500 reputation mark bonus pool. I'll hold on to that for my for my alts. Fleet credit bonus. I'll hold on to for my alts and my alts. Debate what I'll do with that, and I'll debate what I'll do with this. So, alrighty, let's go for the last 20. Keep our fingers crossed. This right here should prove to you that uh, lock boxes are an absolute scam when it comes to. Winnings. I think in my last video I talked a little bit about just how bad they are. Uh, you see these things advertise players winning all the time. It's it's either a bot or it's somebody scamming the system. Very few people have enough resources to purchase a thousand lock boxes and open a thousand lock boxes. And it seems like when they do it, they're getting one every five lock boxes because the game wants people to believe that in order to promote you, prompt you into thinking, yeah, I can win too. It's like going to a casino and you go to the blackjack table and seven of the eight players there work for the casino and they're all winning. But you're the eighth, you're the tenth player or eighth player and guess what? You're not winning shit. You're getting taken to the, you're getting taken to the store. Just like what just happened here. So, there you go, folks. 60 lock boxes and not a single thing worth a damn. Let that be a lesson to you. Now, lock boxes, they fund the game if you uh, purchase Zen via real money, which is your call if you got it. Uh, but you got to understand this is digital rights, digital properties. You're changing real money for smoke and mirrors. Um, at any time, somebody can flip a switch and kill all of us. It's all gone. Just wiped out. Power surge in your character and all of your assets could be completely gone like what happened last October, a year ago October. A lot of people lost a lot of stuff including myself when they had their little server glitch. Um, also uh, you know with what uh, uh, Gabe Newell does I guess with Steam people when somebody gets on his nerves at Steam deletes their account. Well, everything's gone. It's digital rights you know. You own, you own nothing. The only thing you own was the money you spent for nothing. And like YouTube, YouTube can shut down your channel at any time for any reason whatsoever. All your videos that you've uploaded, gone. Just because. They can. They own the network. They own the servers. They can shut it off. Same thing here. So if you exchange real money for in-game money, you have to know going in, it's a waste of money. Now, in the same sense I have in the past, I've purchased... Zen for things because yeah you do want to support the game because you do want additional content and everything else but uh, I've seen people I've not seen them but I, I've heard people spending a thousand dollars a month on this game at, at a pop when they get into it uh, it's not a pay to win game it's a pay to play sort of game because you, you know you can play the game for free it just takes a long time to get anything worth using um, that being said, you know, if you want to spend your money on the game, go for it. Uh, look, I've got 310 low buy. That's enough to buy something on the low buy store, nothing major. And I got a bunch of stuff I can sell for EC and eventually, you know, pick up one of the Federation ships if I really want it. What I wanted it for is I wanted the ship so I could sell it, sell it on the exchange. I didn't get it. Uh, but you saw it here 60 lock boxes, not a one win. So. I did also transfer my keys to all my other characters and then convert those into the uh, track uh, to the Tribble server. So that gives me 360 more chances to uh, get the ship. But again, that's on the Tribble server, so it doesn't matter. And that gets reset whenever they decide to reset it. So anything on the Tribble server is just pretty much really smoke and mirrors. Anyways, thanks for watching.